Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 43 of Let's Play The Old Gods for Crusader Kings 2. We're using some advanced tactics to kind of attack this guy from all angles. Although my slight sort of uh, faux pas, I believe the word would be, false step, has cost me a little bit. Hey, my son needs an educator. Wonderful. Can we give him to somebody that would matter? Like, say, this Norse Norse. Uh, this guy could be good. Jarl of Iceland. Kind of train him up to be a spy mastery type guy. I'm, I'm looking more for the opinion right now. That's what I'm really thinking about. Level 3 educator, not the best. Let's, let's see if we can find any fantastic educators first. My nephew, the Chancellor. I do like mastermind theologians. I love the learning. And she's got decent stats overall. I think she'd be a pretty good fit. And she is a vassal, so sure. Sounds good. Let me just one more time. Make sure. Norse, Norse. Okay, good, good. We're, we're okay. Don't worry. Oh, and the other thing I could have done is I could just imprison that guy if he ends up making that stupid faction again. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? I've got four main armies. One here, 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 and here. These boats belong to those men. These boats belong to these two. I don't have any boats over there, so let's make a small group of boats for them. And as soon as, like, say, this one falls, which is about to happen, I'm going to send over some men to wherever he is actually being tutored, just to see if we can capture him. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it's going to work. Denmark. I don't like that. That is a definitely a mercenary band there. We could squash it really quickly, but we're not at war with Denmark. We're just hostile to them because we have conflicting war goals. But anyway, I think you have to siege through a holding that he owns in order to have a chance to capture him. But maybe, just maybe, we can capture him by sieging through the holdings that he is being tutored at. It could happen. I guess I don't really know for sure how it works. Unfortunately, this is not enough men to siege anymore, so let's go ahead and send them. Uh, shoot. Go there first. And now we can send this group. I don't know where his death stack went. I'm guessing... Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, he's going to come through and prevent me from doing anything here. So we just got to be mobile. What do you want? I'm going to marry my courtier. Alright, that's fine. Get rid of her. Now this is inland, which I don't like. Let's make sure he's still there. Yep, he's still in Brabant. Let's give it a shot. We can get in as far as... We can reach Breda from right here, so... Yeah, let's just walk in. Hopefully we don't get caught. Oh, shoot. I think I'm one day short. Unless... Unless... Where am I? Unless I noticed I am an organizer. I am an organizer. I move armies quicker. Plus 22% movement speed. Oh, shoot. It's not going to be enough. Well, it might be. It's the 25th and the 25th. Yay, we did it! Woo! Fantastic. Okay, let's go up here. Look at that. He's fighting Denmark. Good, good, good. Keep fighting Denmark. That's fine with me. My kinsman needs an educator. Hmm. Well, I could always use some more military men. Let's find a Norse Norse military person. Sounds good. Some more cannon fodder. Okay, so he's just crushed that retinue, or that uh, mercenary group, excuse me. Looks like he's actually heading all the way down to that county now. Pay close attention to that. 
Who's this in? Why am I paying attention to you? I don't need to pay attention to you anymore. Go away. Okay, that looks all pretty good. We're good, good, good. Every now and then I do like to just check on the status of his realm. He's down to 21,000. He's losing men. It's good. It's going to take a long time before I get all the way up to 100% war score, but it could happen. Oh shit, that's right. I'm on the water. Son of a bitch. July 5th? Oh good, I think we're fine. We'll just hang out there and wait. In fact, let me move the boats in so I can maybe see a little bit better. That's good. When he leaves, I'm going to go there again. In the meantime, we're just going to keep sieging this stuff that's really far away from him. Yep, he's on his way back. When he gets about halfway in between the two, I think it'll be the best time. It's hard to say when he's going to turn around. It looks like there's an army here of Lothringa. Lothringia? What are you up to? He's attacking him in a holy war as well. Wow, this guy is really dealing with a lot of problems right now. How far, how fast the, the strong can fall. So he's probably going to go engage this army right here. Look at that, there's a lot of men. I hope he loses all these men. Look at that, oh gosh, that's big. Look at this, he's losing. Now is the perfect time. Let's get in there. We're not hostile to them, they're not attacking me. Ooh, you know what? He has no morale. If I catch him at the right time, I might even be able to be the leader of a battle. Yes, look at this. Okay, he's going to go to Holland. Let's send my men to Holland. And since we'll arrive first and he's coming in with no morale, I sure hope he doesn't recover that much morale in like five days. Okay, let's adjust our armies first. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh. A little bit nervous about this. This might be a mistake, but let's give it a shot. Okay, yep. He's got one flank that's fighting. That's not good. But this army is going to come in and join on our side since we're both neutral to each other. They're actually going to join on our side and then help me. And then I gain war score. Change in war score, 2.7. That was the Battle of Vlar Vlardingen. Battle of Vlardingen. See? Since I started the battle, I get credit. I'm badass. I also got some technology and prestige. Let's do that again. He's going to Breda. Actually, we actually have more men than he does now. War score! Let's go to Holland. Um, hmm. Okay, my armies are safe up here, so let's just take this group to there. I think we're okay to ignore them for a little bit. Okay, war score! Come on, war score! Capture somebody, capture somebody! Okay, unfortunately this is all held by Lothringia. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split my men up. Here, 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 like this. We'll leave these group here and these group here. And we're just going to hang out. And as soon as he surrenders to the Holy War, which is probably pretty soon because this guy's really strong, then these counties will become exposed to my sieges. They're going to be released with no real levy, no real garrison. Because um, they were just taken. And then I will be able to... We'll have the garrison, probably, but no levy, of course. So then I'll siege through them real quick. Looks like he's hired up a new army. New army of Sweden. Sweden. How is the kingdom of Sweden looking now? Cut down to size. 13,000. Nice. Meanwhile, we're sieging through lots of holdings. We're at 26% war score. Of course, with a war this large, I'll need to get all the way to 100%. Lothringia, and is he still at war with France? Doesn't look like it. Nope, France has uh, won whatever they wanted, so. Twenty-eight 
26 gold for some dude. Heir to the country of Sudermanland. Yeah, okay, I'll ransom that guy. Sure, we always need money. Money's always important. Gold is good. Okay. Things are going well. Makes me very nervous. Means that something bad is about to happen. Don't you think? But man. Killing his father was really good. It's really thrown this whole thing into chaos. Just shows how easy something small can make a big difference. Okay, he's actually coming. That's him coming to... Oh, interesting. Okay, never mind. So these are the counties that he actually, s that that guy was actually at war with. Looks like, looks like Lotharingi is done. That was what they were contesting was those two counties. So that doesn't matter anymore. Let's get back to the boats. Let's see where the boy king has moved to. Where are you now? Penthievre. Okay, so we're right here. Okay, well we can go there. Thank goodness it's coastal. Get on the boats. There's a big army up here I need to avoid. Probably coming for me right now. Yep. Okay, we'll have to bail on that one. Those ones are done, so let's just bail. My son, the attractive boy, needs an educator. Let's see. I like the diplomat educators. Um... Of course, I like her, too. Let's try rank. Let's see if there's anyone that really needs the opinion boost. My half-brother, I could get a 20 opinion boost with him, and uh, it's not a bad education. This is my second born, so it's not likely to be the character I play as. I guess that'd be fine. Let's get the opinion from him. Oh, and then my other son. That's right, they were twins. Oh, I could just give them both. Here, just take care of both boys for me, please. Yeah, and now he likes me a lot better for having given him a couple kids. Entrusted ward, plus 40. Very nice. Okay, this army can now go over here then to try to siege through his holding. He seems to only be interested in engaging the armies. He's heading over towards Denmark now. So, we've got this, this, and this. I can't siege that because someone else holds it. I own that. Let's go and siege through some of the holdings he's got over here now. Just so we're further away from that army. Ooh, a, li a liberation revolt. The Breton Liberation Revolt. Holy crap. So he is attacking Sweden as well. <laughs> Even the Bretons want to get in on this. Okay, so he's sieging that, and I'm hostile to him because of conflicting interest. Okay, fine. Well, if that's the case, I guess we'll just bring all the armies together and go harass this side. I want to check on all of his wars, though. Make sure that we're not about to lose Sweden. 27% in favor of Denmark. 42% in favor of me. That's me. Okay. Okay, good. So we're actually winning when it comes to winning Sweden. That's, that's awesome. Combine the boats. And then we'll go... I don't see any armies, but we're hostile to all of it. So let's just go there, there, there. And there is a 39 stack. 3,900. Hmm. That's a bit much for my liking. And wow, these are pretty well upgraded. 1,500. That's a lot of men to require. Oh dear, where can I get the most war score? Maybe from his primary holding? Let's just focus on that. Yeah, these are a bit weaker. So let's leave 1,600 there. Hey, another sun. The more the merrier, correct? And a peasant revolt. Wonderful. Who are you, who are you at war with then? Sweden, I hope? Yay! <laughs> Sweden is screwed. Look at all these damn wars he's got. It's funny. 
Funny, funny, funny. Okay. Uh, I'll go there, there, and that's fine. Okay, no hostile sieges means he's not retaking any of the land that I've taken from him. Now we have a thousand gold bank, in case we need it. And at the very least, I expect to get back Sweden, like the actual kingdom of Sweden. But just maybe we'll get everything that's labeled Sweden right now. That would be insane. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to wrap this one up here. I'll see you again soon. See you next time.